The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Hi, Hedy. Morning. Morning, morning. How you doing? Eddie, Yo. what's good? Hey, did you not see Eddie? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So, Eddie, are you ready for the road? Stomach's empty? Mine? Yeah. No? I, I did coffee. Oh, coffee. All right, cool. So, we're going to get ready to get the. Oh. Didn't see you guys there. Welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. So in today's video, what are we gonna be doing, Eddie? We're gonna go in to get some some red red? We're gonna get red red. That's the first thing today. Beans with uh, fried uh, fried plantain and then subsequently uh, if there is space. Banku. Alright, so today we're definitely trying to tackle another dish that's on the top 10 things I want to try here when we are in Ghana. I am so excited to try another African dish. Yo! So we're going to see if uh, we can put Amanpa on board. Who's that? Nana. Oh, Nana. Okay, yeah. He did say that he's hungry. Yeah. He's hungover. Driver's license. Okay, if you want to change money, uh, it's going to be quite good. Alright, guys, so we just left um, that Cambio just to show you uh, the first transaction. I got it for $635. Those are the $100 bills, and for the smaller notes, only for six cities. So there it was a 35 pesos difference. That's like 35 cents. So you have to be waiting in line, Eddie. Yeah. Uh, it can be parked there where we can take it. Uh, you guys can have it. Oh, so you, you may want to have it here. Yeah, I want to have it here. Well, what, what exactly is Red Red, though? Um, it's because they put some palm oil on top of it, and the color of the palm oil is it's red. Okay. Uh, we smell the plantains. Yeah. Very, very sweet. Yeah. So the color of the palm oil and the red, so that's why we call it red, red. Uh, so what kind of beans? What kind of beans? Um, white beans. Uh, white beans. So Eddie, yeah. what's the longest you've ever seen the line? Um, the longest? Mm -hmm. um, about this same. The same? Yeah. Maybe I've been lucky many times. Like Just coming at the right yeah, time. Yeah, I've been, I've been seeing anything longer than this. So this red red is it like a breakfast food? Because I mean, you suggested it for the morning. Is it like more breakfasty? Because I found like the the other breakfast stuff on the streets were sold out like by. This is like brunch. Brunch. Uh, you can have it for lunch. But for me, it's, it's, it's very nice. Banku fufu is my preferred cake. Uh, it's finally our turn. 
four CDs. Yeah. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Open it. Light. Very, very few. Red oil. Red oil. Yes. Red oil. Watch it. And then. Um, I like the vibe of it. it looks, it's just different. You know, yeah. Very indigenous looking. I'm at that three series. I'm at that eight second one. I'm at that three series. Wow, look at me. Three series. I'm at that two series. Wow, look at me. Okay. Correct. Welcome. Open it. Uh, yeah, it does look like black eyed peas. Okay, let's go inside. Okay. All right, guys. So we are about to have some red red. It's basically um, red palm oil with some plantains and beans, and there's an egg in there. Um, and there's gari in there. What is gari? Gari is made from cassava. Oh. Interesting. Um, one thing I can tell you, man, um, food in Ghana, I mean, I think for us um, Caribbean people or Northerners, it might be considered heavy food, you know, so I'm going to see if I can finish this. I'm going to tell you guys what the flavors are like. I know the plantains I'm going to mess up, but um, yeah, super excited to try this dish. I love the way that they're eating. It's just this table and it just feels so... Yeah, it feels like you went back in time, you know? So amazing. Anyway, let's get into it. All right. How is it? It's good? Okay. It's not spicy. Do the, the gari, do I mix it in? No? Yeah? Okay. Just gonna mix everything in. Let's go for it. Cheers. Mm. The gari is a crunchy thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's mm. crunchy. You may want to like. You could use gari as a cereal. I love the balance that it creates because the, the beans are soft mm -hmm. and a little bit kind of mushy. But the gari has that crispiness on it. It's like perfect. It fits, fits well. Hello, chef. Hmm? It tastes in something like honey. Hello, I'm chef. not sure what it is. But any flavor? Mmm. Plantains are good. Mm -hmm. Any flavor where? Any more. Any more? Okay. This so far probably might be one of the, the my favorite dishes here. <laughs> because of plantain. Mm. So good. Planting yeah. is not like how yeah, some people like it. It's not mushy. It's like just the right. Solid. Yeah. Solid. And I run the back and I see the ladies mm -hmm. back there mm -hmm. cutting up mm -hmm. fresh plantains. And you can see that right through this little window here, which is it's pretty neat. Sorry? Where's the egg? Hmm? The egg? Yeah, I don't you know. You know I really like happening. eggs, but it's an egg. <laughs> Nothing special about the egg. It's not Nothing at over all. easy Nothing or soft on the inside or whatever. Yeah. Just a hard boiled egg. Not at all. I'm trying mm. to. I think it complements the dish. Mm -hmm. My favorite part is just the seating. It's so cool. People coming in. Binder, red, red. 
Mm. I think so far this has been apart from the fried fish. Mm, this is the best. This is my okay. Eddie. Okay, my favorite combination. Funny, I thought it would have been a spicy dish. Mm-hmm. Spicy mm. I'm serving to eat. Mm-hmm. It is. It's pretty big. Look at the size of this guy. Mm -hmm. Really big plantains, bigger than the ones that we got at home on average. Yeah, for I think quite easily my favorite part about the food culture here is that I can see my food being cooked. I just love the whole idea of that and that everything is just like a very close-knit symmetry because just at the back there you can see them washing up the cutlery, plates, whatever it is and then when they're done frying the plantains you just see them take it from like directly from the back and just draft it to the front and then you see them putting everything together. Um, you might notice in first world countries that these things are things that um, I can say northerners do to put on a show. For example, hibachi, hibachi style restaurants, you get to see what the chef is doing and that just makes your food a lot more intriguing, a lot more interesting. Or some of these uh, top star restaurants where they might have an open glass bay set up so that you can see the food being prepared here. It just seems like it's just a, a norm. It's customary, it's a tradition here. Even the little chickens you can see, <laughs> you notice in the back, it's, it's, it's completely different. It's just, it's really nice. And it has a, a kind of feel of Jamaica, kind of like a, how can it, a cook shop, minus the being able to see what's being cooked. But that whole, you know, the wooden, the wooden walls, there's, oh, they got zinc too. The zinc shack tops, yeah, it's, it's, it's something else, something that I think you should at least experience just once. You said there's an award? Yeah, there's an award. If you finish the food? Finish it, yeah. A gold bar? Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> gold bar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever is his is mine. So. Okay. So if he gets the so gold he, bar, he it's mine. But he, he has to finish it. his own and finish yours so that he can, oh, no. so that he can get the award. <laughs> <laughs> about here they don't sting on the planting it seems that they've probably got about one planting and their plantings there are very 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 big very big and the serin sizes are in general is a lot
so funny. I mean, I'm down to my last bite. Save the best for last. But as I'm here, I can hear the ladies back there pulling up plantains, washing, and they're singing the song, um, Jesus Never Fails Me Yet. It's just so calming and so relaxing. It's it's a full experience. I, I can't tell they're going to be singing the same song when you come here, but it's still going to be a vibe. Oh, I had more than Eddie. Mm -hmm. They're good. I am not a Ghanaian. <laughs> This is Ghanaian. Ghanaian. Mm. Tomato, tomato. Sorry. That's right. All right, guys, so my stomach is awfully full. Let me tell you. Eddie, how much was it for that just now? How many sedis? For each one. Uh, each one, yeah. Um, each one was like um, nine, nine sedis. What? Nine sedis? Yeah. Well, if that thing costs nine sedis, let me tell you, man, that is a bang for your buck super filling super tasty and that was I, I believe that was my favorite dish since i've been here in ghana i think the only you said fufu was your favorite since you've been here yeah but this one i think this one giving you a different perspective this one gives me a completely different perspective i really enjoyed this one um the fish was good the fried fish that we had in jamestown that was pretty good but this is the one i think this one is the most balanced out of all of them and i don't mean to get all how can i say ancestral or be too spirited but there's a part where i was just standing up and watching the ladies do the the frying of the plantains and they were singing the song and i felt like you know that story about moses when he was in the basket or whatever that's how i felt i felt like it was a song I probably heard at some point in time. I know I never heard the darn song before, but it just felt like a song that I should know. It felt very tribal, very soothing. It felt like a song that a little baby would, they would sing to a little baby, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that was that. We are going to be heading to another food stop pretty soon, but I'm gonna save that for a next video. So if you guys wanna see me in the same shirt in the next video, remember to drop a like on the video, drop a nice comment, tell us what you like about Ghana. Yo, and of course, shout out Eddie. Yeah, today we can shout out Nana too because he's finally here. You know, he's been, he's been missing, but I'll catch you guys on another video. Remember to subscribe. And remember to see things, love, nature, and adaptation. And I'm so excited to keep the link in Ghana.